Hey, Tim Schetz here again for C4D Training. I know it's been a while and I apologize, but my baby boy is now six weeks old and I'm going to get back into my tutorials, so stay tuned. I work a lot in After Effects and I really like to do easing with things that I'm moving around in After Effects and there's, you know, the built-in easy ease in After Effects, but I use the Ease and Wiz JavaScript that's available for After Effects. I really like the options that it provides. It gives you the ability to ease obviously in and out, but you can also bounce and use do elastic and you can have kind of a stronger ease or just a normal ease. And you can actually, there's a lot of choices there for it. Well, somebody developed something similar for Cinema 4D and it's called Smart Tween. And it's at smartpage.net slash smartween and the nice thing about it is the guy charges for it which I think is totally fine but he only charges five euros which is you know roughly seven eight dollars and I think for what this gives you it's totally worth it so I'm just gonna walk through the basics today and show you kinda how this works and I I think you'll you'll be excited about it so first things first when you purchase it you'll receive a zip file and you'll open it up and there'll be a folder called Smart Tween. And you just copy that folder into the Cinema 4D plugins folder. Okay, so once we're in Cinema 4D, I'm gonna go ahead and create a cube. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this window over so you can see. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a Cinema 4D tag, Expresso tag to this. This opens up our Expresso editor window. And we're going to go ahead and say new node. And because I installed that in my plugins, I have this new node here called smart nodes. It goes to transitions and then smart tween. And then there's your smart tween node. Okay. So then I'm going to grab my cube. I'm going to bring my cube in here as well. And I want to affect my cube on the x-axis. I want it to slide across the stage. I come over here and I'm going to go to my coordinates and go to position and position X because that's what I want to affect. And I'm going to go ahead and tie these two guys together. So this is the output of the smart tween to my position X. And if I click on my smart tween, move this out of the way, we have a from and to. So I happen to know that I want to move this from say negative 750 to positive 250 on the X axis. And I want it to start on frame zero and I want it to take let's say 45 frames okay and the type I want I could do linear which would just be it moving across the stage but I want to do something a little more exciting so I'm going to go ahead and say elastic and I'm going to minimize my espresso window if I rewind this and I hit play boom there goes my box of course it's set for ease in so it's easing over here change that easily to say ease out and I rewind this and I play and there's my box and I get that little bounce boing you have to say that boing boing see it works so much better when you say that and I could do I could do back which is a little bit different so it kinda goes past its destination and then comes back and as you can see there's quite a few options here random that's a little crazy for me but Hey, if you want something really random. So, a bunch of different options here. Exponential. Kind of really smooth. But super, super easy to use. Go ping pong. So, it just goes back to where it was. Super easy to use. I really like it for the low cost. It's certainly worth the investment. You can add some cool easing without having to go into MoGraph and use the different effectors to, to cause the springiness. It doesn't really have that many options. It's just springy. And this, as you can see, has quite a few more options, which is really nice. So there you go. Just a quick intro to the Smart Tween plugin for Cinema 4D. I know this was a short one, but hopefully you found this helpful. And if you get a chance, go ahead and check out Smart Tween. I really think it's worth the investment. Once again, I'm Tim Schetz for C4D Training. Thanks for watching.